This is Dr. Saad in front of you and today my topic is the insensitivity to the growth inhibition. Basically this is the second hallmark of the cancer. As we have discussed the first hallmark uh, and now we are going to discuss the second hallmark of the cancer. So as I have told you about the tumor suppressor genes that those uh, these are the genes that basically they are the negative regulators of the cell cycle. Clear means they prevent the cell cycle from over proliferation. So they are the tumor suppressor genes. Basically the loss of function mutation in the tumor suppressor genes leads to the development of the cancer. So this is concerned with the second hallmark of the cancer. Now we will be studying certain tumor suppressor genes and the mutations in those tumor suppressor genes. Clear in this part, in this part in the second hallmark. So first of all, we are moving on towards the first tumor suppressor gene that is very important and that is called as the RB gene. RB gene, basically RB is derived from the word retinoblastoma. Clear? Basically mutation in this gene, RB gene, it results in the retinoblastoma means the cancer of the retinal cells of the retina that's why it is called as the RB gene and it is also known as the governor of proliferation clear now moving on towards the mechanism or means about the RB gene, RB gene that what is RB gene and what are its characteristics and what is the normal function what is the mutation in the RB gene Moving on towards this, RB gene basically it is having two forms. RB gene having two form. Number first form is the active form, and another form is the inactive form. Now, active form of this RB gene is basically hypophosphorylated. Hypophosphorylated and the inactive form is the hyperphosphorylated form of the RB gene. Now basically active form in which type of the cells the RB gene will be active or if simply you can say when the RB gene is active RB gene is tumor suppressor gene if it is active what it will be causing it will causing the cell cycle stoppage means it will stop the cell cycle so in the cell in those cells uh, it will be active where it will be active in the non dividing cells where the cell division is not occurring clear because the activation of this rb gene causes the cell cycle stoppage or you can say it will not uh, cause the cell cycle progression it will be preventing the cell cycle progression so in the non dividing cell this rb gene will be active means in the hypophosphorylated form and obviously when the RB gene is inactive what happens that the negative regulation is removed the tumor suppressor gene is removed when it is removed obviously the cell cycle will progress so this will be inactive in which type of the cells in the dividing cells means when the cells they are carrying out the cell division cell cycle progression is carrying out so at that time the RB gene will be inactive now one thing here to be discussed that in the active form how this RB gene basically prevent the cell cycle to progress how it stops the cell cycle basically what happens that in the active form this is your RB gene that is active that is in the hypophosphorylated form in this active form, it is basically combined or you can say it has a complex with a transcriptional factor E2F. This is a transcriptional factor. This forms a complex or you can say it is combined with that transcriptional factor. And this transcriptional factor is now you can say he is sad. Because after combining with the RB gene, retinoplastoma, you can say protein, what means this loss of the function of this transcriptional factor occur. Now it means that when it is combined with the RB protein, what happens the transcriptional factor cannot carry out its function. What is the function of transcriptional factor? It is carrying out the cell cycle to move into the S phase. Means to carry out the cell cycle progression. 
so when this combined with this protein so the transcriptional factor cannot means carry out the cell cycle progression that's why it is sag clear so in the active form rb gene is combined with the transcriptional factor and due to this reason the cell cycle cannot progress is that clear now in the inactive state the rb gene uh, the transcriptional factor is got free from the rb gene here the rb gene is separate and we have separately we have the transcriptional factor and now this transcriptional factor is happy because now it can carry out its function and it can move the cell cycle towards the cell cycle progression clear this is the simply a normal rb gene normal mechanism that it is in the active form in the inactive form now the rb gene function of the rb gene can be compromised by the two methods clear there are two methods through which the rb gene function can be compromised now i am writing it here okay i am writing it here number one is the loss of function mutation in the rb gene means simply the loss of function of the rb gene occur and the cell cycle progress this is simply first mechanism this is very easy i have told you many times that the loss of function mutation the tumor suppressor gene results in the cell cycle progression now this uh, means this line is repeated many times clear now second part is that that how the rb gene function can be compromised it can be compromised when the active form of the rb gene is converted into the inactive form clear now how this active form is converted to the inactive form this i am going to tell you a little bit uh, means in detail now as i told you that in the active form this rb gene is combined with the transcriptional factor now this active form can be converted to the inactive form by by the gain of function mutation of the cyclin and cyclin dependent kinases clear gain of function mutation of cyclin and the cyclin dependent kinases are, these are basically the growth promoters they are the growth promoters now what is the means mechanism behind this what happens that i told you when there is a cell cycle progression what happens that we have cyclin d it complexes with the cyclin dependent kinases they both form the complex and they carry out the cell cycle progression but this complex this complex having another function also basically this complex this complex it converts the active form of the rb gene into the inactive form how this complex hyperphosphorylate the rb gene clear in the active form it is hypophosphorylated in the inactive form it becomes hyperphosphorylated now this cyclin d and the cyclin dependent kinase complex it hyperphosphorylate the rb protein clear when the protein become hyper hyperphosphorylated obviously it becomes inactive and when it becomes inactive clear when the hyperphosphorylated rb gene it becomes inactive so the transcriptional factor will be released and when the transcriptional factor is relieved what happens the cell cycle will be progressed clear so this you have understand that what is the mechanism of this cyclin dependent uh, cyclin dependent kinases and cyclin d they form the complex this complex basically hyperphosphorylate the rb protein when the rb protein is hyperphosphorylated it becomes inactive clear and when it becomes inactive so the transcriptional factor that is that was combined with this rb this is set free now means now this is relieved from the rb protein now rb is separated and the transcriptional factor is separate uh, separated and now it becomes free and it is free to carry out its own function and its function is to progress the cell cycle in the s phase clear and in this way the cell cycle progresses clear so this is the whole mechanism of this uh, rb uh, you can say rb gene rb protein it's active and the inactive form now this rb gene it is also uh, you can say it is converted from the active form to the inactive form by certain viral viruses by certain viral proteins clear now i am writing it here that we have certain viruses for suppose just taking an example of human 
papilloma virus this is very easy you have, you have heard about this virus the human papilloma virus this virus it produce it produce a protein that is called as the e7 it expresses e7 now this e7 it is having a very high affinity it is having high affinity for rb clear this e7 having high affinity for rb what happens that this e7 it forms the complex with the rb when this e7 forms a complex with the rb so the transcriptional factor that was uh, means uh, uh, that was combined with the rb it is free when this complex is formed the transcriptional factor is once again free and it, then it can it will be carrying out the cell cycle progression clear because rb gene is combined with the e7 so that's why the transcriptional factor is set free and it causes the cell cycle to progress clear so this is also this was the example that certain viral proteins they are also involved in the means inactivation of the rb gene basically inactivation occurs when the rb gene becomes hyperphosphorylated clear so this was the first tumor suppressor gene that, that we have studied now one thing i have to explain here uh, one more thing that i have to explain you that is the two hit hypothesis in the tumor suppressor genes we have the two hit hypothesis and that hypothesis we will be studying in regarding to the retinoblastoma gene clear so we are studying now the two hit hypothesis basically two hit means two mutations two mutations means the mutations must occur in the both alleles of the retinoblastoma just take an example we have we are taking example of the retinoblastoma gene clear this retinoblastoma gene we have two pairs or we can we have a single pair like for suppose one retinoblastoma gene is from the paternal side and one retinoblastoma gene is from the maternal side clear so they are saying the two head hypothesis says that there must be the mutation in both alleles of the retinoblastoma both the maternal and the paternal in order to develop the retinoblastoma in order to develop the cancer of the retina so this is the two head hypothesis basically it is having two postulates you can say or two conditions you can say first condition is the familial cases familial cases what are the familial cases familial cases means basically that the uh, means the child which will be born you can say there are two parents obviously the mother and the father and the child that is born from them it will it is having one defective retinoblastoma gene means this is for suppose paternal and this is your maternal for suppose this child is having your defective paternal gene this is defective means this is retinoblastoma gene is defective and now this gene is normal now they are saying this hypothesis says that when this is defective it means that this is the first hit first hit means first mutation occur in the uh, paternal from the paternal side clear now this is the your maternal side what happens that the, in the now the all somatic cells of the child it contains the defective retinoblastoma gene one one allele now the second one allele from the maternal side it is normal clear now due to any condition due to any environmental stress any condition for suppose there will there is a defect in the maternal gene also so this is called as the second hit now clear this is the second hit now both the alleles are of the retinoblastoma gene they both the alleles are defective and now this child will be developing the retinoblastoma this is the main uh, point that this two head hypothesis says that the both alleles of the retinoblastoma gene must be uh, you can say defective in order to develop the retinoblastoma in order to develop the cancer of retina clear simple is that this is the familial case now we have the second case that is the sporadic case a sporadic case basically it means that both the parents they are normal clear so obviously the child will also be normal the child is normal having no defective gene no defective rb gene means all the cells have normal genes 
clear now this child in order to develop the retinoblastoma this child must undergo the defect in both alleles and in the same retinoblastoma in the same retinoblast basically what happens that uh, due to any environmental condition uh, this child having he is having normal both the normal genes now due to any environmental condition he develops a defective single defective means uh, this retinoblastoma becomes defective in this case clear now and this is your single retinoblastoma one retinoblastoma now in the second case when the second hit will occur this was the first hit now second hit will occur this second hit must occur in the same retinoblastoma where the first hit has occurred so this is very rare condition means this environmental factor affecting firstly in this in here now the second hit must also occur here in order to develop the retinoblastoma so this is very rare case and if uh, means this is very rare case it cannot develop very easily easily it develops retinoblastoma in the familial cases means hereditary cases this child has hereditary uh, means defective gene so the, here this is very common and this is very rare case clear so this is all about your retinoblastoma gene two hit hypothesis and now in the further lecture we will be studying our further tumor suppressor genes and their mechanisms if you have any query any confusion you can ask in the comment section thank you so much allah hafiz